channel and to this week's plan with me video as you can see we are memory planning the week of december 30th to january 5th yes i am well and truly behind we are what the 25th of january today which is insane um but yeah there's been a lot going on um part of it was because i was debating whether or not i wanted to film on my new year's spread in my old planner or in my new planner um, and i've decided that i'm going to stick with what i did last year um, and basically close out the planner so i'm filming my new year's spread in my old planner and that will actually not only see out the year but it will also see me complete from start to finish an entire erin condren planner which is new to me <laughs> um with that in mind, um, this week I'm using a kit from Planner Goddess Studio. Um, so you would have seen me, actually no you wouldn't have yet because the plan with me, I don't think the, the um, sorry not the plan with me, I don't think the planner haul has gone live yet so I'll do a quick skim through. So as I said this kit is from Planner Goddess Studio, it is her New Year's kit and I really really wanted to use it because it's the only clip art that I've seen that actually featured Sydney. Um, and I thought that was really appropriate um, and I just thought it was really cool. Um, so these are your nine full boxes. Um, as you can see, there are two double box scenes, up to you whether you use both of those, one of those, um, totally up to you. You then have your bottom washi strips, some deco, some date headers and a weekend banner. Apparently I can't pick up stickers today. Um, you have your checklists. You have a functionals page. So you have your habit trackers, your half boxes, um, some quarter boxes and some glitter headers there. You then have an additional three full boxes to choose from, which I think is fantastic because if you've got an empty spread, you can use those three to fill up the space or you can just choose to swap them out with the first page. Um, you've then also got some more glitter headers, some white space checklists, a weekly tracker and some scripts. And then of course the last page that we have here is of course your little headers and some more quarter boxes. So I thought this was a really fitting kit. Um, so with that said, because I want to get straight into it and I want to have a chat with you guys at the end, um, I want to have a chat with you about my excuses <laughs> for not having a video up for the last couple of weeks um no they're not excuses there's been a lot on but um yeah let's get straight into it as per usual i'm gonna lay everything out and then i'll come back to you and we will talk through what happened for my new year what you guys did for your new years and it will be fantastic see you soon Loving me was all you tried when you were around I've been told too many times now Yeah, loving me was all you tried when you were around I've been told too many times now But somewhere I'll be 
Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted So now let me tell you why What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting Irresistible When I look through your eyes Not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied
Okay guys, we are back. As per usual, I just realized that I haven't actually filled in my sidebar for the week, but I will do that later. Now, as you can see, I <laughs> to the back end of my spread, I ran out of boxes, so I had to improvise and I had to do a little bit of white space planning. Probably not the best. I'm not 100% on how it looks. I think I'm my harshest critic though, because I feel like I post these things and then when I post it, you guys will be like, oh my God, it looks amazing. But I think just because as Vicky from Vicky Plans said, because I'm so used to planning in a no white space setting, I think when I look at something that has white space, um, it just is weird to me. So I don't know. Let me know what you think below. Do you like this spread? Because I'm still undecided. But I've found that when I look back at spreads, like when I do a spread that has a little bit of white space in it, I don't like it at first glimpse, but when I look back on it, I really, really enjoy it. So, I don't know. All right, so let's jump into everything. So as we said, the kit that I used is from Planet Goddess Studio. Very, very pretty kit. I love the pinks. I love the golds. Absolutely beautiful. Um, the, the headers, the page flags, and the date headers are all actually from Scribble Prints Co. It came in one of my mystery subscriptions and I love it, love it, love it. Um, I did have, I don't know if you guys would have really seen, um, but I did have a little bit of trouble with her icons. I used her icons to start with, but when I tried to pull them up off the sheet, they got stuck. So that was not a fun time. Um, so I ended up using the icons that you'll see throughout are actually from Monique Plants. Um, and they are in her hollow gold stars. And they worked perfectly. So I'm glad that I got to use those. Um, I've obviously used some Simply Gilded Washi. That is it for the foundations though. So Moving on to the sidebar, again, I haven't actually entered in my um, followers or my subscribers for that week. I do have them written down there, so I'll fill those in off camera. Um, and I've used my favorite little icons there from Sticker Thief Shop. So both the Instagram icon and the bunny are from Sticker Thief Shop. Or Sticker Thief, whichever way. It's Sticker Thief Shop on, Shop on Instagram and just Sticker Thief on Facebook. Um, and you can use Mel Thief for 15% off any order that you place with Sticker Thief, so definitely check her out. She has just reopened. She's reformatted a lot of her stuff um, and her stuff is all hand drawn. So it's really, really amazing. Um, I then put in a half box here. I don't know what I'm gonna put in yet. Maybe just put, I'm just gonna put like 2020 or Happy New Year or something like that. I'm not sure, um, but I figured that that's kind of how my, spread, uh, my sidebar works at the moment. And of course that is all gonna change when I move into the new planner, which I am excited for but a little bit intimidated by <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's part of the reason that I've not filmed yet. I actually wanted to film my New Year's spread in my new planner as well, but unfortunately, it's still intimidating me. I haven't been able to practice with the sidebar, um, or the layout, and yeah, so I've kind of been putting it off. Um, and like I said, I've just had a bunch of stuff on. I've had a whole heap of family stuff going on some really, really negative stuff, some really taxing stuff. Um, I'll talk to you about that more as I go through the weeks that I've missed though, um, because it would just make more sense. Um, and then I just finished off with another full box there. So moving straight on to Monday, I have used a Scribble Prince Co coffee cup um, and a coffee Monday um, script there from Sticky Committee. And before I forget, the headers, so not the gold ones that, as I mentioned, are from Scribble Prints Co., but the other ones that I've used here, they are actually from Simply Gilded and they are her perforated um, five millimeter washi. It is amazing. Like I need about a hundred more of them and I need them in every single color. I haven't hauled them for you guys yet, but it is coming, um, I promise. So keep your eyes out for those. Um, back to Monday, um, I've marked in there, of course, that I had work. I'm just going to shift that. See, I have a lot of trouble with spacing and stuff when I do white space. Like, I'm not opposed to having a big chunk of space there. Like, I can put this here, which is fine. 
and there's like a massive gap between both of those so again it's not the worst and I can probably move this down a little bit but I just ripped my page which is excellent I love doing that um, and kind of have it work that way I don't know I don't know it's another reason I think why I don't do too much of the white space stuff let me see if I can can I successfully take this off Ooh. yep okay I can kind of save it um, so to mark in work I have used some hollow gold strips from Arctic Paper Studio um, and then moving down to Monday evening, I've marked in with the Monique Plans Icon and a Celebo Sticker Co. script that I did a load of laundry after work. I've then also used a um, Monique Plans script that is her collab with Emma K. Plans um, to mark that I watched YouTube that afternoon. Um, I think I just left it general because I'm pretty sure I watched both a combination of Plan With Me videos. Um, <coughs> I think I also watched some Planet Zoo some sims um so i kind of just left it generic and i've used a little bubble mon stickers co icon or character there to mark that further moving on to tuesday it was of course new year's eve for some reason i don't have a new year's eve script in like a hot gold color so i need to try and find some so that is why i have put a box in there that is blank um, i've also of course then marked work the same way on Tuesday evening, I've used a little lime and mortar sleeping mask there to mark that I had a nap after work. And then we went down to my dad's house for New Year's. And again, that is just another little um, sticker there from lime and mortar. Um, we don't really do much for New Year's Eve. Generally, um, we both, like hubby and I both work. So we go to work, we come home, um, and then generally we'll have New Year's at someone's house. So last year we just sort of sat at my house, we watched the fireworks, we drank, and we just chilled out. Um, whereas this year we went down to my dad's house, my dad made some food, put out some snacks, um, you know, we, we had some alcohol, nothing too crazy because I'm too old for that now. <laughs> um, and we just chilled out. Um, with the family so we had myself my husband there my three brothers my dad and my dad's partner and we just hung out so like for the first part of the evening we kind of just sat at the table we picked at some snacks we chatted we chilled dad made some dinner um then we started playing some board games because as i mentioned in my christmas plan with me quite a few of us got um board games or like variations of different card games or whatnot um, for Christmas um, so we put those to good use and we played quite a few of those um, when midnight rolled around we watched the fireworks on TV and I think that was pretty cool because this year they did they hadn't done the whole like fireworks fountaining or waterfalling off the bridge for a while um, and I thought it was cool that they did that yes I know the whole topic of fireworks and fires and all of that going on at one time is very controversial so I don't want to get into that but yeah, we watched the fireworks and we just chilled. And then again, we went back out, we ate some more snacks, we did some more talking, played some more games, and we generally just had a really chill that night. Um, I don't think we got home to my house. We only live like two minutes walk up the street, which is great. Um, so by the time we got home and we showered, I think we got into bed at about 3, 3.30 in the morning. Um, so I'm too old to drink too much, but apparently not too old to stay up all night. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a really, really great New Year's Eve. Um, if anyone is interested in sharing what they got up to for New Year's, please leave it in the comments below. I will definitely read your comments and I will reply. Um, and I'm generally just curious because I know that everyone has obviously different religions, different traditions, different ways that they celebrate different holidays. So I'm genuinely interested to know what everyone else did for New Year's Eve. Um, moving on to Wednesday, again, another empty box there because I don't have a New Year's Day script. So it will happen later. <laughs> um, I've then, I don't have a day off script either, so I've left that blank to leave room for um, marking that I had a day off because obviously it was a public holiday. I then used a little paper shire um, pillow there just to mark that because I had a day off and because we came home so early that morning, 
that we pretty much slept most of the day. I think we slept until like 12 o'clock. Um, no shame. Um, so we slept till about 12 o'clock and then we got up and we're like, you know what? I don't want to sit at home all day. Let's go and do something. Let's go and have a coffee in um, Penrith or the local shopping area. Um, so I sent a message to my dad and my brothers and I was like, hey, we're going to go for some coffee later. If you want to come, that's great. If you don't want to come, that's fine too. Um, just thought we would extend the invite. Um, that, <laughs> that caused a little bit of drama because we had mentioned coffee. But then because hubby and I hadn't eaten all day, we'd gotten up so late, we decided that we might grab some dinner as well. Um, so we sort of messaged back and said, hey, look, we're actually going to go and grab some dinner first. So we'll head in about a half an hour early. Um, and no one really responded. So we showed up to my dad's house. My dad wasn't even dressed. My brother was ready to go. Um, only one of my brothers came. Um, and then my dad got dressed and he got all angry and he was like, well, we're going, we're having coffee. Um, <laughs> my dad's really funny. Like when we get ready to go out or whatever, he gets, I don't know, my, my brothers have a tendency of making people late. Like they just can't get organized. So, um, even though they were organized this time, I don't know, my dad started stressing out and he just went into this, like, well, we're going to go and, you know, maybe we'll see you in there kind of thing. Like he got a little bit. I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, um, so my husband, my brother, my youngest brother and I, we headed in and we went to Nando's. I don't know if any of you guys have, if there's anyone who doesn't know what Nando's is, but it's basically a Portuguese chicken place. Um, they make really, really amazing burgers. They make some really good um, chips with like cher uh, cherry, cherry, peri peri salt. Um, just really, really yummy food. Um, and even though I'm vego, I go there and I can still eat some stuff on the menu. So I usually alternate between, they have like, ch um, cheese pita bread. Um, they do like a veggie wrap. They do like a veggie burger. You can of course get the chips. I can have corn, salad, garlic bread. Um, so I just used a cute little Debbie Downer there chowing down on some chicken to mark that mainly because I don't know when else I'm going to use that <laughs> and I figured it was appropriate because Nando's is like a chicken place um and then after Nando's we went to Santuro which again for anyone who may not know um it's basic it's like a cafe I guess you would classify it as so they do like hot beverages so they do like hot chocolates they do um coffees they do milkshakes thick shakes they do um churros they do chocolates they do ice creams gelatos um and they just have like some music playing and it's like a really hip kind of fun i don't know it's just a really chill place to go and grab a coffee so because it only took us about half an hour to eat, my dad and his partner were still at um, Centuro. So we walked over there, we grabbed, well, I grabbed a coffee and my husband drank, drank a hot chocolate. We grabbed some churros. And again, we just sort of sat around and had a bit of a chat. Um, and then after that, we decided that we would go back to my dad's house. We stayed there until about, I don't know, 11, 11.30. Um, and then we left because I had to work the next day. Um, so I've just used a little coffee cup there from Planet Goddess Studio to mark that we went to San Churro. On to Thursday, like I said, I had work. I've used a little sassy girl there. Um, she's basically laying on the floor thinking that she needs coffee, which is me all the time. And I thought she was appropriate for, of course, marking, like I said, that I was exhausted after having gone to bed at 3 a.m. one day and not getting to bed until about midnight the, the night before. I was exhausted. Um, when I came home from work, I just had a really chill afternoon. So I've used a little Celebo Sigico laptop there to mark that I watched some plan with me's. I've then used a little pug character sticker from Celebo Sigico to mark that I had a nap as well. Um, and then I also used 
I didn't also use. Then I've used <laughs> one of the Monique Plans icons there, which is just a little Instagram icon to denote that I posted an Instagram post that day. For anyone who doesn't follow me on Instagram, I would love for you guys to follow me there. Uh, my handle is Mellow Plan, so exactly the same as it is on YouTube. Um, I haven't posted much there, so basically that is the first and only post I've put on Instagram this year. I think it's hard because I don't really know how to balance it at the moment. Like I've said to you guys before, my filming setup, I literally film on the weekends and that's provided that we're not doing something and that I've actually got the time at home to film. Um, I don't have any studio lights yet. Even my like, the thing that's holding my phone is like a gooseneck. So that's probably why sometimes you'll see like the phone wobble. Um, so until I can get some studio lights and things like that, I'm really limited as to when I can plan. Um, and that also makes it hard in terms of taking photos for Instagram because by the time I've filmed... Um, it's generally pretty dark like you've probably noticed that like from the time that I started filming this to now it's darkened a lot and that basically rules out filming a second plan with me for the day just because of where my filming setup is um, and I don't really have anywhere else to set up so at the moment I just sort of work with what I have um, that's all I can really do so I'm trying to figure out what sort of content I want to post on Instagram, when I, whether I want to post my spreads, uh, whether I want to post just like snapshots of my favorite parts of spreads, my favorite stores. I don't really know yet. Um, if you guys would like to help, I obviously value your feedback. So if you can let me know what draws you to a planner Instagram, that would be great. Um, of course, like I said, if you don't follow me already, definitely follow me over there. I will follow you back, of course. Um, but yeah, I really value your feedback. So if you want to pop some feedback in the comments below or over on Instagram, that would be truly appreciated. Um, and then lastly, for Thursday, I used another Monique Plans icon just to mark that for some reason I had really bad indigestion. On to Friday, again, of course, I had work. I've used another Monique Plans icon there to just mark in that I had to top up my parking pass. Speaking of parking passes, guys, oh my goodness. This week, right, so it was like 39 degrees on, 39 degrees on Thursday and then like 30-something on Friday. I pay $130 per month for my parking spot. And I am one of like four, 500 people that park in that like car park. Some people, like for a weekly pass, pay like $50 and the lifts never, ever work. So on this 39 degree day, it was like 39 degrees at five o'clock in the afternoon. I had to walk up five flights of stairs to get to my car. Same as the next day. It's not that I care about working, walking up the stairs. It's more like it's boiling hot. Like if I have health issues, if I was elderly, um, if I have a disability, um, if I'm someone who looks after someone with a disability, how do I manage five flights of stairs? Like, yes, there are ramps, but there's cars that come down those ramps. And I'm sorry, but if I'm one of 500 people that pays $130 a month and there is 500 other people that pay $130 a month or more, how can you not afford to have upgraded lifts? Like, it's actually ridiculous. Anyway, <laughs> totally unnecessary rant. <laughs> but anyway, I topped up my parking pass on the Friday. I've then, of course, used a little Sinister Designs car there to mark that I got petrol on the way home. When I got home, I've watched YouTube. Again, probably a combination of things. Generally, whenever I just put like a YouTube binge or whatever that is, or like a like that one, watch YouTube, um, it's just to denote that I watched a mixture of videos, whereas if it's specific to a plan with me video or a planner video, I'll usually specify that. Um, so I've just used a little Malik, Malik, Monique, planned script um, as well as a little laptop there from Sticker Thief to mark that and then the half box here I've put down because no doubt we either watched a movie or we just chilled out or did something I don't remember and for some reason I didn't write it down but I've just used that to fill in that space on to Saturday um, I've used a little sun sticker there from Marshmallow Studio to mark that we had extreme fire danger warnings which of course is really serious when you have been living 15 kilometers from one of the biggest fires in New South Wales for the last two months fire danger warnings are very frightening um, so that particular day because it was gonna I think it was set to be like 
45, 46, 47 degrees, something like that. It ended up being like the world's hottest recorded day or something in a certain amount of years in Penrith. Um, and generally, whatever Penrith's temperature is, we're generally hotter out here. So um, I've just, I just wanted to mark that in. Um, I've then also marked in with a little Coffee Monsters Co icon there that I had an iced coffee for breakfast essentially um, and then I use a Celebo Sticker Co a flat lay to mark that I filmed that day. Um, that afternoon I've used a laptop from Planet Goddess Studio to mark that I edited and uploaded a video and Saturday evening I've used a little coffee not a coffee a little icon there from Planet Goddess Studio. Did I just say that? Um, anyway, <laughs> to mark that we watched Oblivion, which was a really weird movie. We stumbled across it on regular TV. It had Tom Cruise in it. I'm not really a Tom Cruise fan, but it was a really unusual movie. It was, I think, sci-fi. It was futuristic. It's basically... So Tom Cruise's character... So reading from Wikipedia, it says Oblivion is a 2013 American post-apocalyptic action-adventure film co-produced and directed by whoever. Um, skipping through, Tom Cruise is the main role. There's also a novel and it basically says Oblivion takes place in 2077 on an earth devastated by war with extraterrestrials that has caused humanity to relocate itself to Titan. The film follows the story of Jack Harper, Tom Cruise, a technician who has been sent back to Earth to service drones used in the fight against remaining extraterrestrials in brackets scavengers. After witnessing a spacecraft crash from which he is able to rescue a survivor, Harper is captured by scavengers and fights against a new and evolving alien threat. Um, yeah, so basically he's this guy, he lives on Earth, his mission is to service these drones, um, and then after a certain time period he's meant to come back to, like, home, which is obviously no longer Earth. Um, and then along the way he discovers some really unusual things, which I can't really say because it will give away the movie. And it's just a really bizarre, like, even the way that it ends is really strange, but it was really interesting. Like, it was good to watch. Um, so... By all means, check that out if you are interested or if you love Tom Cruise or you like sci-fi, action, whatever it was, post-apocalyptic action-adventure films. Definitely check that one out. Um, and moving on to Sunday, I have marked in with a little Monique Plants icon there that I edited a YouTube thumbnail that morning. Actually, I ed edited a couple. For anyone who follows me on YouTube, you would have known that my like thumbnails have changed. I don't know. I just wanted something different. I kind of like them I kind of um, I don't know I don't know whether maybe I'm not showing enough of my spread I don't know I want it to be intriguing again by all means let me know your thoughts below um I've also then used a little planner goddess studio washing machine there to mark that we washed our bed sheets that day it's really weird because I feel like I never ever mentioned this in my plan with me videos like I feel like laundry is almost something that I put in <laughs> to fill space I don't want to do that in 2020 but it's so hard because even when I've been writing out my plans for like the last couple of weeks to prepare for these plan with me's I just look at them and I'm like what a boring week like what am I going to put in there there's nothing like I've done nothing um I then mark so on Sunday we went in and we grabbed some lunch so we went to no we had mm, lunch No, I think we had dinner. So I think we just chilled out all day. And then I've used the little labeled with Love Co. She is closed now. Um, the little taco there to mark that we had Mad Max for dinner. Then after dinner, we went and we saw Jumanji, which we were really big fans of the first one. We both love Kevin Hart. We both love um, The Rock. Jack Black's pretty funny. We Like I said, we enjoyed the first one. And I'm pretty sure the week before, is that when I watched? Yeah. So the week before I had watched the original Jumanji and we'd obviously seen the first of this series um, in the cinema as well. So um, we, we went and watched that and really enjoyed that. And then afterwards, obviously, what is a little day out in Penrith if I don't go into Kmart? I think we did some groceries as well. Um, oh, I didn't even write it in. Um, so 
sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. This little movie marquee here is actually from Sticker Thief. Um, she has a whole range of these now in all of her different colorways and they are absolutely amazing. They're half box size, so it gives you plenty of room to write in movie titles if you're interested. Um, and then I haven't filled it in, but I've used a little Monique Plans shopping trolley icon there to mark, like I said, that we did a Kmart, uh, Kmart shop and we did a Coles shop as well. So that is my spread. Um, so in terms of what I have left from the kit, so I've used pretty much all of the, as you can see, I swapped out a few of these for the other sheet, uh, for the other full boxes. I've used all of the quarter boxes there. I haven't used any of those. As I mentioned, used all of them. Used the washi, used one of the decorative pieces. But that is my spread for New Year's, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me give you a quick little... Again, I feel like without studio lights, you can't really see. Like, it's so sparkly. Like, I was going to put um, full box overlays or corners on, and I just figured, you know what? It's so sparkly already. Um, but, yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I really like that I brought in the gold. It just kind of jazzed it up a little bit more. Um, and I may still put some overlays on this bottom washi here. I don't know. We will see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this spread. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Um, it really, really helps my channel. Um, obviously, the more that you guys like, the more that you subscribe, the more likely I am to appear in other people's recommended searches, which I would really love. I have haven't done the video yet, but one of my goals this year is to reach 500 subscribers. I've got 12 months to do it. I'm sitting at 215 subscribers at the moment. So if you are new here and you haven't already, please subscribe, share my channel with your friends. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.